Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Columbia, Missouri, getting you some information on this pre-owned 2017 Kia Soul Plus in Inferno Red. So the Plus model is a uh, very nicely equipped Kia Soul. You're going to be surprised once we hop inside here, but uh, up front, the Kia Soul offers some very nice, large halogen headlights with fog lights also on this model sporting the Kia Signature Tiger nose on the front end. We've got some nice alloy wheels on here. What size is that, everybody? We've got some 17s, 17-inch 17 alloy wheels on here. So you've got some nice ride quality. The Kia Soul has a very nice ride height as well, a little bit higher off the ground. Very nice and boxy. Though it looks small, this has a ton of space and utility on the inside, and it leaves anybody who's underestimated this vehicle quite surprised. We've got privacy glass on the rear windows with this being a compact utility vehicle. Heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer. We've also got a backup camera on here too. Let's go ahead and just take a moment to take it all in and enjoy this inferno red paint coat on here. We've got color matched mirrors with that. Very nice, very nice. You can tell my voice is getting a little hoarse. We're on vehicle number five today. And it's been a while since I've uh, done so much filming, but uh, having a good time filming what we have available at least. So expect a lot more pre-owned vehicles since new ones are scarce. We've got power locks, windows, and mirrors. Front two windows will be automatic for you. We've got some nice storage in the doors with the bottle holder, nice little woofer for some sound. It's a cloth interior. We've got a two-tone pattern right here. Definitely enjoying that. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. It's kind of neat, right? Six-way adjustable manual driver seat. So this pump lever right here will lower you or raise you. Angle control here and a bar for the four and a half adjustment. We've got the AC cranking in here, and what's nice about this particular um, model is we've got automatic climate. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn that down to set or turn that up to 72, I should say. And uh, we noticed that the fan speed has drastically lowered. So we're going to keep it there just so I can stay nice and cool. But you can see we've got some nice speakers up top for some extra sound quality. On the left here, we have dash illumination controls along with traction control options. Steering wheel right here, we can unlock, tilts up and down, also telescopes in and out, so you can get that exactly where you need that to be. Go ahead and lock that back in. Now with this being a Kia, I'm definitely familiar with the format here, but I've worked with a lot of different manufacturers. But the way these Kia steering wheels are set up is you've got entertainment on the left hand side, driving and information tools on the right. So we can cycle through our audio sources, tracks and presets, adjust our volume. We've got Bluetooth, voice recognition options, and on the right, cruise control, our drive modes, which you've got eco or sport or just your regular driving mode. Trip info, which is going to cycle through information on your little drive display, which also shows your current drive selection and ambient temperature along with your odometer. We can also view average fuel economy, average speed, um, trip time, trip A, trip B, and our fuel range as well. And we can also reset any of this information if need be to get some data and information dialed in for specific events. Left hand wand, we're going to have automatic headlights on here. Fog light control will be further in here on the wand and then of course blinkers and brights will be controlled over here too. Right hand wand will control your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers. Up above, we've got lighting. We'll hit the room button to turn on all of the lights in the cabin. The door light we can use for when the doors are open. For example, that dims nicely for us. Sunglass holder, which is felt lined to reduce any scratching. Standard rear view mirror. Right here, this is a great place to uh, maybe store a couple items or it's great to, you know, stick things on if you've got, you know, the... Uh, 
you know, phone holder or for your GPS, all kinds of things. This is a great uh, surface for sticking. You can tell it's not textured like the rest of this right here. Great place to put things that need to stick or be suctioned into place. Vents, hazard lights, and down right here we've got our entertainment screen. This is a touch screen, just so you know. So we've got our time listed right here. We can access our radio, which we're on currently, various media. You can connect for Bluetooth or connect items via the auxiliary port or the USB port here. Access our phone. We can turn the display on or off just to display time and date. Uh, we can adjust our clock, go into the settings for anything else that we need to configure here too. And we've got volume, tuning, track seeking, and then down below we have our climate control. So this is a single climate automatic air conditioning system. So right now it's on auto and all you have to do is just set your temperature and let the sole take care of the rest for you. Now you've also got front and rear defrosting uh, for situations. And then down here is our power center where we've got two 12 volt outlets as well as the USB and auxiliary port I already mentioned with some nice storage right here. Got your shifter, park, reverse, neutral, drive with some manual shifting capability. This is paired up to a six speed automatic. Let's check out that backup camera. We've got a nice clear view of the rear bumper, horizontal lines for distance judgment, and then these lines on the side for representing the true sides of the sole. So say if I were wanting to back up over here, as long as nothing is in between these two lines or getting close to touching these lines, you theoretically won't impact with anything. And that's how this projected pathing or guidance works with your backup camera. We've got shifter right here, not shifter, bleh, parking brake, cup holders, center console just for storage, as well as a very large deep glove box for some extra storage too. A smaller tray here and then an even deeper one with your owner's manuals inside there with easy access to the cabin air filter up above it looks like. All right, let's not forget our handy dandy visors. These are mirrored, clipped, lit, and telescopic to reach the full length of these very nice large windows that we have here, guys. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off, save some fuel. By the way, you get a full tank of gas and a uh, free detail from us with every purchase. This vehicle currently has around uh, the 74,000 miles. I forget what it said on the odometer, but I'm sure you guys may have seen it. Back here, extra storage in the doors for some bottles. Seating for three. Tons of headspace. This is a very spacious vehicle. Even with this seat all the way back here, I'm just going to hop on in. I'm comfy. And check out the headspace. Pretty good. Nice and spacious back here. No cargo bag here behind the driver, but, and that's out of convenience, you've got one back here for the passenger. We've also got a nice little armrest with some bottle holders here and our latch system for child seating too. Rear seats can fold down in a 60-40 split for you. Just got a pull right here. That'll drop on down. Come on, baby. Ugh, there we go. All right, it's kind of hard to do things one-handed, but we've got some great cargo space in this vehicle too. The raised roof, boxy design, really provides a ton of cargo volume as well as passenger space. So back here we can see we've got a nice little flip-up tonneau cover to keep your rear cargo concealed. This is also very easily removable too. So we're just gonna pop that back in, but you can just pop this right out. A Little bit of storage here on the right-hand side with some lighting excuse me, a 12 volt outlet as well for some tailgating and rear charging. You got this cargo board, which is also removable if you need a ton of extra floor volume here with your roadside tools and a spare tire sitting underneath here too. So again, you can just slide this whole thing out if you need to. And uh, I actually believe it will slide into this lower storage deck right here too. So you have a nice flat surface right there, but tons of different cargo options and capability with the Kia Soul. This has a ton of space on the inside and uh, I really uh, would definitely take it into consideration if you're looking for a compact utility vehicle. It's definitely one of the best, all right? Okay, last but not least, we're gonna just confirm some passenger seat 
adjustability. It's gonna be four-way adjustable manual on this right-hand side here, folks. All right, and that's gonna wrap it up for this particular 2017 Kia Soul Plus in the Inferno Red. Guys, make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. Also, as of today of this vehicle being uploaded online, it is available for sale. And you can find it at kiaofcolumbia.com. A specific link for this vehicle display page is down below in the description. Thanks again, guys. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. Thanks again. Hope you're having a great day.